right here. Today we'll be reviewing Linux Lite, so I've been running this for about a day, and yeah. And also, once again, if you haven't seen my Linux Mint video, I'm retiring fast looks because they don't get enough views and they take too, mo too long for me to make, so now reviews have an overview of the distro before I do the review. So, we got a bunch of pre-installed applications here. We've got GAMP installed. We've Firefox is pre-installed, although I installed Chrome myself. Have a lot of multimedia utilities. We have Library Office, and we have some tools right here. Now, one thing Linux Lite comes with is it it comes with a bunch of light system utilities that make it easier to custom customize your system. Now, this is the welcome screen. Looks pretty nice, but I don't usually like welcome screens. I usually disable them. Um, so we'll be looking at some of the tools. So this one lets you auto log in and stuff. This one lets you basically modify desktop icons. So let's say I don't want the um, network thing. Um, I don't want control panel. And I don't want my user files. I can click OK. And now it's only showing my recycling bin and stuff. Although I uh, want to move these back up. Now, when you right-click on the desktop, or anywhere, if you right-click in the desktop or in a folder, it gives you tons of options. So, create document, folder, launcher, terminal, task manager, screenshot, open as administrator, or should say open as read, but whatever. And you can even access your applications, so pretty nice. Um, now, what else should we look at? We have um, light info to get hard which sh shares your hardware info with the community. So it's like Ubuntu's telemetry kind of, except this is opt-in. The only way to get your data collected is if you open this program. Keep that in mind though, because I opened this program not knowing what it does and it shared my hardware info. So keep that in mind. We got, I'm guessing this is a Samba client. Um, this is interesting. We got Linux Lite software. So, um, no, I did this this morning, but, um, it comes, it doesn't come with GNOME Software Center or anything, it comes with Synaptic pre-installed, and this is its main software center. However, for the more new users, it's got light software, so you open it up, click OK, and it comes with all these options to quickly set up stuff. So let's say you can't open a movie file. Well, you could just open this and click on um, Restricted Extras and then click Install. Or let's say you wanted to install some games. You could just click on Games and click Install. So Light Software is the one I more like. It's like, it's, I like more. I like that feature. It's like Ubuntu Mate Software Boutique. Got live system reports, sources, tweaks, we'll get to this later. Um, update notifies, um, and user manager, and upgrade. So this lets you upgrade to a newer version of Linux Lite. Now let's look at Linux Lite tweaks. Thanks, um, I'll quit now. So now, as you can see, I have some games pre-installed. Uh, here it is, games. Now let's look at Linux Lite tweaks. So, um, I like, um, this is a nice tweak tool, although it might be a little bit advanced for new users. It's got two grades of tweaks. It's got safe and caution. We got stuff like TLP. We got package system repair, locate large files, kernel remover to remove kernels that are no longer needed. We have a kernel installer here, um, if you want to basically, if you want to, uh, can I not type my password incorrectly? Here we go. So now, if you want to change what your, what kernel you're using, you could just open light tweaks and then go to the kernel installer and pick any version you want. So this would be good if you have a laptop, like an old laptop that can't run some kind of kernel version. We've got different fixes here. We got, um, you can disable, num enable and disable num number lock. Just stuff like that. We have a whole bunch of stuff. 
clear you could clear cash from Chrome and Firefox. So yeah. And I, I do like the um tweak tool, it's nice. So um now that we've done sort of an overview, I'm just gonna get into the review part now. So this is a very nice distro, it's fast, it works properly, and it's an overall good distro. Now, there are a couple things I wish I could, that I wish I could get pre-installed. Like for example, um, I wish there was a way to get a Windows 7 layout, sort of, instead of a Windows Vista or XP layout. There might be a widget that I can use. Maybe. Uh, maybe I just want this to be the icons to be bigger and for the labels to not be there. So show button labels. Oh, that's nice. Um, now the only thing I need is to be able to pin um, is to be able to pin to this taskbar and not this one. But this works for now. So yeah, but this isn't very modern. Well, it does use Adapta and Propius, which are very modern themes. So it looks modern, but they... God, I'm not doing that big. Well, it looks modern. The interface isn't very modern. So it has an older type interface with a modern, more modern theme. Um, now, I know the whisker menu is pretty modern, too, but just the way the icons are laid out and stuff, it's more Windows XP and Vista days. However, some people prefer that, so if you prefer that, go ahead. That's just my personal preference. Um, but this is a very stable, reliable distro. It works. It's great, and I really like this distro. Um, I like the way the light tweaks work. And yeah, um, it's pretty light too. If I go to um, my system monitor or my resource usage, oh, come on, I'll just do this. Task manager, here we go. I have Chrome open with the website open and I'm recording and it's only using 17% of my memory and 20 less than a fourth of my CPU. So pretty good. It's pretty light, and that's a good thing. And Chrome is using up uh, most of my CPU. I mean, my not my CPU, my memory. So um, there is this one bug that I had where, when I would change the volume, it would show up twice. The notification would show up twice. To fix this, all you have to do is go to Pulse Audio Plugin. The right click it and click uncheck show notifications when volume change so this is what it's like with it on where now it shows two of them which is what it's at by default this is how you fix it so yeah um if they can fix that that's really the only bug that i had but it was pretty easy to fix so not a huge bug but yeah it's, this is just a great distro um it works it runs good it's light on systems this is going to be one of my contenders for the 2018 awards on the best light system. So, yeah. Anyways, thanks for watching this video, and I'll see you in the next one.